What I got for you here today is a beautiful one owner 1993 Mercedes-Benz S500 or 500 SEL. This year I think it might have been a 500 SEL but this guy put the S500 badge upgrade on the back of it unless it was a S500. Either one. I don't know which one they called them in this year. It's a beautiful car. Like I say, one owner, I love these one owner rigs. They're always better maintained and just a lot better rig. Now this is an odd car and I do get a lot of odd cars, but this is a gray market Mercedes, which came in, the gray market ones would come in from Europe to Canada to the United States. And um, you'll notice on the reports, it'll show that it was, I think, 2000 when it happened, when it came in. And that's actually a minus for any of your reports, because I don't like gray market cars. I do. This one has a different kind of fog light in it, it seems. Kind of more amber, yellowish, orangish. That's kind of a once around. My name's Nathan. It's 406 544 6919. And if you're looking for one of these W140s, I've got a 93. S600 that's coming up just real quick here, right? Probably a video or two after this. I got a 94 S500 and I've also got a 95 S500. White, green, and charcoal colors on them. Nathan 406 544 6919. I'm gonna go around and show you any of the minor damage or scuffs or anything like that. And um, my website www.serialmarshmallows.com on the blog when you get there and you'll be able to see a lot of stuff I have for sale. A couple little scuffs on the mirror here. A little scuffy chip thing right there. All great condition on this stuff. Um, your wheel wells are beautiful. Um, your tires are a Cooper CS4 Touring which is a great tire. Still got little titties on the sides. Underneath it's just as nice as can be. It don't leak all over the place, but it, I'm sure you'll find a wet gasket or something somewhere. And I'm sure you leave it set for a week without running it. You might get a drip under it. A little scuff right here. A little chip out of it right there. And they kind of touched it up. Miscellaneous chips in the hood. Kind of checking and chips. Just small. A little scratch, a couple of them. And hard to see until you really get up on it, but you're buying long distance and I try and show you everything. A little stress mark here where he bumped something. See, you got a couple chips in here he touched up, you can see there. Not until you get right up on it, but nonetheless, it's there. So I'm trying to show everything. Same thing here, a couple chips. A little scuff there. Got that piece. A little crack in that. The camera's a little hard to focus underneath on this lighting for some reason. Tires are in great shape. Wheels are in great shape. I'd say about oh, 50, 60, 70, 60 to 70 percent less. 50 to 70 somewhere on the tires. Tranny shifts tight. This ain't this car. This is somebody else been sitting up here. A couple Scuffs that have been touched up there. Beautiful on top. Sunroof, all that works. As far as door dings, it really ain't got nothing to speak of. Small something right there. A couple of little places that are touched up. He touched everything up. Little ding right there. And then, same kind of little chip right there. Now, right here, something happened with the paint a little. He must have got one of them cans of the exact match because it matches. You cannot tell. Cannot tell. So you get up and you see these couple of cracks in it right here. I don't know if he prepped it right or what, but he kind of fogs something in right there. Looks good, but it's definitely not 100%. And I could have that blended in and fixed for you if you wanted. Right there, there's another one of them little pieces. See, that's the badges I'm talking about. I don't know which it was in this year. Just want to make sure I'm not misleading someone. That might be off just a teensy bit. A couple little scratches, nothing major. 
beautiful car. These are awesome to drive. Mid 20s on fuel economy on the highway. Plenty of power. I think I'll smoke a stinking old Chevelle Super Sport that is all stocked out. A couple little scuffs here. Whoever had it loved his car, ding. And took care of a ding. Took care of a lot of the little scuffs and a ding. So there's two on that panel. And unless I missed a little teensy little ding somewhere, that's it. That's kind of a double ding too. Ding ding. Okay. Oh, this side. Yes, I did. Same thing right here. It's a perfect match, but it just wasn't. I don't think he sanded and prepped it right before he did it. Right. Right in there. Maybe the clear coat started going or something. Pretty good work. I mean, you cannot tell until I... If I wouldn't have told you, it might have took you a while. Besides seeing them cracks. But I'm not saying that like I'd mislead you. I'm just saying it really would take a guy a little bit to notice. There's some dust on it, too. A little bit of wax and such. And that's about it for the once around. What I'll do is I'll go on a test drive here. And this stuff here. I'm going to test drive with you here and show you any of the features and stuff when I get back to the house here. When we got a little better lighting. Once again, it's Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. Um, www.serialmarshmallows.com. Click on blog. You can also go to www.missoulaautoauction.com. And there's a lot more pictures on that one. It's M-I-S-S-O-U-L-A, autoauction.com. And you know that buzzer is kind of really, you hear it really low. I don't know why it was low, but and I think let's turn it off again. Let's see if it No? Just wanted to make sure that... Okay. I love that. This is a little loose and we'll flip open on you. The car runs great if you're at an idle. It's got a little bit of a... It, it needs cap and rotors. I pulled them off. I have everything inspected. Pulled them off and he's capping rotors and it's a couple hundred bucks. Two of them. I believe it's 200 or 180 to 240. Easy to do. You never notice it going down the road and that's 40 just like at the push of a button. Push of a button. How about the push of a pedal? That would be a little bit more accurate, huh? I'm gonna slow it down to about 20 here. Let you see what it does. I mean, right down like it should on the downshift, right up like it should on the upshift. The car steers great, rides great. The shocks on these go at some point, and the ones on this are really good. Um, you gotta hit a bump really good to get a pop out of them that you don't feel like you should get. Um, but you might get that every once in a while. Um, but not that often. This thing, the, the shocks are really tight on it. Um, brakes good. There was a window regulator out, and I replaced that to where now all your windows work. Oh, my windows until you buy it, I guess. But all your windows, this is... I mean, if you're looking for an S500, a W140, then this is the one. I love W140s. I mean, they spent over a billion dollars engineering this car all kinds of people quit over it and all kinds of stuff Ooh, don't want to hit the little squirrel we didn't know about it okay i missed him so i'm happy about that see you can see too that we missed him he jumped out there so fast boy okay now let me show you any of the problems with this car on the interior features i'm going to open this for the heck of it it, it works fine slight squeaking when you open it there as you can tell 
Might be smart to get it lubed before something goes out. Um, tires, okay. He says 30 to 40. Let's call it between 30 to 60 then. Um, small rust over on right side. That was that little piece that um, it looked like you break that paint off and you'll get a little bit of uh, surface patina on it. And that guy touched up and um, looks good. Um, the missing plastic cover under hood for hydraulic fluid. I'll show you that. Oil was one quart low. We got that. Antifreeze. All the other stuff was good. Belt okay. No check engine light with key on. Car. car then these uh, um, cap and rotors. Horn works. Driver's power seat works all directions. Lumbar and heated seat work. Passenger's power seat up in the lumbar and heated seat works. Right rear window needs regulator. I got that. No first aid kit and rear sill. Power side mirrors working in all directions. Both headrest raises from front buttons. AC and heater controls don't work. These don't work. Whoa! Okay, that is the first time it's not worked. I do not know. It did not work before. And, you know, I did have my guy check all fuses when he inspected it. And maybe that is the deal on that. Um... And you can see it's nice and smooth. But when you first start off sometimes, you get a little bit of a, you can't even feel it. But it's in the rotors, we pull the rotors off and they're a little, just a little beat more than they should be. Back in the years when you had a phone in them and stuff. Little chips in that. Seat and headrest works, all interior lights work, owner's manual and glove box. Got it. AC's cold. The radio, the coat is in the trunk and it works. Very nice there. Cool. Discolored on that. Hardly anywhere in your pedals. Mileage. Dominator is at 68.424. It's 81 out, and the relative humidity is very cool. I'm going to leave that to where I can take a picture. And let's get up and show you a little bit of this. Door panels in the, I think it's the Brano Wood still on this year, is in great condition. That looks to be popped out just a tad. Now it's not. And I'll just show you under that. I think I did. Oh, that's my keys over there. I've been driving this one around. It drives great. Looks great. Dash is great. The car is clean. I love these one and two owner cars. People must always take better care of them. I mean, if you're the one that paid 70, 80, 90 grand for something, uh, it's pretty good indicator you're going to make sure it gets serviced and you take care of it a little better. I'm going to go ahead and show you the back seats here and such and then I'll flip around and Matt will pull them out while I'm doing the motor and we'll get you out of here in about 16 minutes or so. I keep wanting to go over because they say I don't have limits now but I'm afraid that I'll have to do this over and I, it's hard enough getting get this sometimes right. I don't edit them. I don't believe that editing them is the way to go. I mean, if I edit them, I could have hid something from you. I don't think people should be editing their videos of something they're trying to sell. So I don't do that. So if you don't think you think it sounds a little weird or I run out of something to say or I say the wrong thing, I can't help it. I, I'm doing it all ad lib and from memory here. And man, I don't miss much on these. I definitely, oh wait, in fact, while I'm talking about that, the only one that doesn't, works fine on all the vacuum. This one does not. I don't know what the deal with that. It's easy to shut without that, but that's the only one that doesn't have the vacuum closed working on. Somebody must have been driving a little awkward here because these things got thrown all over the trunk. Must have been somebody else. All your manuals. Let me get these out of the way. 
It's got most of the books and everything. You got a nice CD changer, Mercedes Benz with the magazine. You need a spare. That ain't a good spare. You got a nice wheel, but that ain't a nice spare. Bad spare. And we'll pop the hood here. Show you in the inside. Oh, this one's got the the Twilight Sentinel lights or whatever you call it, to where they pop on when you're in the dark. And as you can tell, it's not running rough, got any pinging or banging or knocking. It's just that the you know, cap and rotor's a little off, so in between power ranges, if you're at an idle, if you're just coming down to an idle, it'll kind of go oh, well, and then it runs fine. And that cap and rotor's all it is. Nathan, 406-544. 6919 and you know right down to little stuff I just remember this this piece here needs to be threaded back in somewhere in there and popped in it's coming loose but it's in great shape and just so you know there's the S600 that's coming up in a little while get you another view of the yeah turn it off Get you another view of the motor here in a different lighting. 